Hi, it's Kelly Sparta again. So I want to talk to you about opening your heart today. Opening your heart is an, it's a challenging process for those of us who have been in environments where uh, they weren't entirely loving and where oftentimes our hearts would be used against us. That, that any vulnerability we showed, including receiving love, would be used as a weapon against us. And so I want to acknowledge before I start that this is a challenging process for a lot of people. And so, uh, you know, your mileage is going to vary on this, okay? So I'm, I'm not going to give you a complete detailed thing on how to de-armor your heart because that's a whole process. We do that in the Mastering Spiritual Evolution program, which is our second program in our series. Um, and it's, it's much more complicated than I could do in a three to five minute video, but I'm going to give you the starting point, okay? Because uh, opening your heart is about learning how to receive. So what I want to do is I'm going to give you an assignment for this process. And this is going to be a really short video because of it, okay? But your assignment is very simple. I want you to receive love from strangers. Now, why do I want you to receive love from strangers? It's because strangers have zero impact on your life. And so there is no chance that you're going to trigger the, oh, they're going to feel like I, you know, if I receive it from them, I'm going to owe them something or, you know, I, 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 right. All that stuff that comes with our baggage, right. But if you learn to receive love from strangers, then it will start the process of opening your heart for you. And so here's how you do that. Okay. If a stranger lets you out in traffic, you smile, you wave, you receive it as an act of love. A stranger smiles at you on the street, which I know is kind of hard to tell right now because of, you know, face masks and COVID, whatever. But if, if you can see them smile, sometimes you'll see their eyes wrinkle and that'll tell you their eyes that they're actually smiling. If you can see them smile, then receive it as an act of love. If a stranger holds a door open for you, receive it as a gift of love. If they move out of the way for you on the sidewalk, receive it as a gift of love. It is, right? It is a gift of love. It's very simple. We just don't think of it that way. And in many cases for us, we've limited our willingness to receive love to a very small group of people. And that limits your view of the world. So I'm going to encourage you to stretch your idea of what love looks like. And that way you can begin to receive love in a variety of places. Okay. And that's it for this week. Like, subscribe, and rate. Don't forget to join the mailing list so that you get told about the book when it comes out, uh, which will probably be by the time this video airs. I'm, I'm recording it earlier. So uh, the book is The Overachiever's Guide to Nailing Your Spiritual Growth. Don't miss it. It's going to be awesome. And for five bucks, it's a steal of a deal. There's so much content. Oh my God, so much content. It is the, it is the roadmap, the curriculum for spiritual growth which you will not find anywhere else because I had to freaking write it myself because I had to find it. it. took me 45 years to figure it out. Okay. So like, subscribe, rate, subscribe to the mailing list, which you can do on the home page of my website, bottom of the page, or you can get the boundaries for empaths free download and that'll put you on the list too. Okay. Have a good one. We'll see you next time.